Assalamu alaikum this is Fazil Nasir Choudhury today i am going to discuss about the topic on cloud computing that is a general term for anything that involves delivering hosted services over the internet today i have designed my lecture with the peak points of given topic Cloud computing is an umbrella term that is used to refer to internet-based development and services. A number of characteristics define cloud data, applications, services, and infrastructure. Here, the three big points, remote hosted, ubiquitous, and commodified. In remotely hosted service, this is hosted on remote infrastructure that is far away structure you may say. In ubiquitous services or data are available from anywhere and commodified is the result of utility computing models similar to traditional that or traditional utilities like gas, electricity and regular visibility that is you can pay for what you would want. Here is the model of cloud architecture. In a cloud architecture, there are three segments we can see here. First one is actually software as a service. Uh, second one is platform as a service. And the third one is infrastructure as a service. In a software as a service, it provides actually application um, between user and computer. In a second one, this is the segment of cloud infrastructure with platform and it deploy customer create applications and the third one is infrastructure as a service here rent processing storage and the hardware is basically include here is a fundamental concept behind cloud computing that is the location of services and many of the details such as hardware operating system on which it is running are largely irrelevant to the user is with the mind that uh, metaphor of the cloud was browsed uh, from old become network schema and in which public telephone network can later to internet was is often represented as a cloud to denote that just didn't matter it was just a cloud of stuff so we can see the shared pool of configurable computing resources and on-demand network access uh, provisioned by the service provider. Let's talk about the characteristics of cloud computing. I have designed my lecture with the fundamental points of characteristics in a common section of character uh, in a cloud computing session that is massive scale homogeneity, virtualization, low-cost software, uh, resilient computing, geographic distribution, service orientation, and advanced security. But the essential characteristics are on-demand self-services, that is broad network access, resource pooling, rapid elasticity, and measured service. Here you can see the cloud service model which stands with three basic parts. Number one is software as a service, number two is platform as a service, and number three is infrastructure as a service. In software as a service, it provides application between computer and user. In number two, platform as a service, it deploy customer and created applications in a segment. And number three is infrastructure as a service where rent processing, storage capacity, and computing resource work in a hardware. Here is a point of different cloud computing layers with relevant examples. I have designed this section with uh, relevant examples of each layer. Number one is application services. In this layer, we may use it in Microsoft Live, Exchange Labs, IBM, Google Labs, uh, Quicken Online, Cisco. Number two, application platform. In this section, we can use it uh, Google App, Engine, Maso, Force.com, Engineer, Facebook, Heroku, etc. In server platform, 3Tera, EC2, Slicehost, GoCrete, those are the examples. And the last one is storage platform. These are Amazon S3, Dell, Apple, and so on. Here is a cloud computing service layer with the key points of description. Uh, the first 
three points services application development these are application focused and the last three points platform storage and hosting those are infrastructure focused in application focused services are actually in uh, paypal open id auth google map alexa those are the uh, services we may describe it as a services layer in number two in application application is actually cloud-based software that eliminate the need of local uh, installation such as google app microsoft online and the third one of application focus is development in development software development platform used to build customers cloud based application uh, that is platform oriented and software oriented such as salesforce infrastructure focused layers first one is platform it platform is actually based on typically provide using virtualization such as amazon ecc sungrid uh, in stores data storage or cloud based it ns like uh, ctra ids cloud ns in hosting hosting physically data uh, contains such as those run ibm hp navy stuff etc in basic cloud characteristics are actually transparent to user applications they can build in multiple ways in general they are built on cluster of pc server and off the shelf of components plus open source software combines with in-house application and or system software. When we describe cloud computing thoroughly, then virtualization is a vital points or vital issue to be discussed. Virtual workspaces. What is virtual workspaces? This is actually an abstraction of an execution environment that can be made dynamically available to authorized client by using well-defined protocol for example resource quota software configuration uh, operating system provider services and it should be implemented in a virtual machine like abstraction of a physical host machine hypervisor interaction and emulate instruction for vms and allows management of vm vmwr zen and provide instruction in API, plugins, hardware, support of structures, and of course, it should be engaged with several operating system. For your better understanding, here I have attached some commercial cloud offering logo. First one is, we can see Amazon Web Services, GoGrid, PowerOfNetwork.com, 3Tera, Beehive, Joyenta, Mosso, Vario, and Ingenuart. There is a large number of advantages to describe cloud computing, but I am attaching the cream points of advantage. Number one is lower computer cost. You do not need a high powered and high prices computer to run cloud computing web based application. Since application run in cloud, not on the desktop PC, your desktop PC does not need the processing power or hard disk space demanded by traditional desktop software. When you are using web-based applications, your PC can be less expensive with a smaller hard disk, less memory, more efficient processor. In fact, your PC in the scenario doesn't even need a CD or DVD drive as no software program have to be loaded and no documents file needed to be saved. Cloud computing, you can get instant software update and also you can improve documents format compatibility. In instant software update, the advantage that computing, you cannot get longer faced with choosing between option software and high upgrade cost. When the application is web-based, update happen automatically it's available the next time you log into the cloud when you access a web-based application you get the latest version without needing to pay for download or upgrade in improved document you do not have to worry about the documents you create on your machine being compatible with the user application or operating system there are potentially no format incompatibilities where everyone is sharing documents and application in the cloud. Cloud computing offers limitless storage. 
your computer currently one terabyte hard drive is smaller compared in the hardest ppite available in the cloud it increased data reliability unlike desktop computing in which like hard disk crashed and destroy all the valuable data a computer crashing in the cloud should not affect to the storage of your data if your personal computer crashed all your data is still out there in the cloud still accessible in a world where few individual desktop pc user pack up their data on regular basis cloud computing is a data safe computing platform not only that cloud computing is an universal document access that is not a problem with a cloud computing because you do not take your documents with you instead they stay in a cloud and you can access them whenever you have a computer or internet connection documents are instantly available from where you are the latest version of availability when you edit document on home that edited version is what you see when you access the documents that work the cloud always host the latest version of your documents as long as you are connected you are not in danger of having an outdated version easier group collaboration sharing documents leads directly to better collaboration many user do it at this important advantages of cloud computing multiple users can collaborate easily on documents and project uh, device independence you are no longer tethered to a single computer or network changes to computers application and documents follow you through the cloud move to a portable device and your applications and documents are still available now i'm going to discuss about some disadvantages of cloud computing uh, the first disadvantage of cloud computing is it requires a constant internet connection cloud computing is impossible if you cannot connect to the internet since you use the internet connection to both your applications and documents you do not have an internet connection you cannot access anything even your own documents a dead internet connection means no work and in areas where internet connections are few or inherently unreliable it could be a deal breaker in cloud computing stored data might not be secured for all the time with cloud computing all your data is stored on a cloud the question is how secure in the cloud can unauthorized user gain access to your confidential data this answer is not in our hand stored data can be lost therefore data stored in the cloud is safe replicated access multiple machine but on the off chance that your data goes missing you have no physical or local backup put simply relying on the cloud puts at the risk if cloud lets you down last but not the least the future of cloud computing many of the activities loosely grouped together under cloud computing have already been happen and Contrast computing activity is not a new phenomena. Grid computing was the last research-led centralized approach. However, there are concern that the mainstream adoption of cloud computing could cause many problems for user. Many new open source system appearing that you can install and run on your local cluster should be able to run variety of application on this system. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.